Good day, parents, family members, guests, teachers, administrators, and smiling graduates. It is an honor to address you today. Graduates, I commend you on your successful journey. You began this expedition many years ago with the desire to get to today, your graduation day. But it didn't just happen through desire alone. It took studying, discipline, sacrifice, and extra effort given the circumstances that you faced over the past 15 months. Through the closing of schools, virtual learning, and all of the other adjustments you have endured, you stayed focused, you kept your eye on the prize, and you followed through. Remember though, during all this time, you've had a tremendous support group working with you and for you. Your family and friends providing the encouragement and love that have brought you to this moment and your teachers and administrators providing the instruction, knowledge, and guidance that have prepared you. They have helped make you who you are. And now you are ready to step into the future. You have all the necessary components for success. Your future will be prosperous if you give serious thought to your ambitions and set challenging but realistic goals. Goals are necessary to chart a course through life. Because if you don't know where you're going, you'll never know if you get there. Set your goals and commit yourself to them. They may change from time to time, but success comes to those who are committed to whatever they attempt. To make it happen, you must believe it can happen. Maintain your commitment. Remember, too, that with independence comes responsibility. Success and responsibility go hand in hand. I'd like to conclude with a poem by Susan Polis Schultz, titled, Always Believe in Yourself. As you look towards the future, these words seem most appropriate. Get to know yourself, what you can do and what you cannot do, for only you can make your life happy. Believe that by working, learning, and achieving, you can reach your goals and be successful. Believe in your own creativity as a means of expressing your true feeling. Believe in appreciating life, be sure to have fun every day and to enjoy the beauty in the world. Believe in love. Love your friends, your family, yourself, and your life. Believe in your dreams, and your dreams can become a reality. Class of 2021, congratulations. The future awaits you. Class of 2021, today is your day. It may be hard to believe, but you've got here some way. School buildings close for seven months of your senior year, but still you look up and graduation day is here. A new president, allegations of election fraud, and insurrection in Washington, D.C., my, my, you've lived through it all. Continued social unrest, social distancing, and COVID-19 tests. Masks as a way of life, loss, and isolation really causing strife. The race was on for a vaccine cure. For a life in a pandemic, no one chooses to endure. In the meantime, schoolwork goes on and you do what you must. Your future depends on you, the most critical one to trust. For those that believe in prayer, it's prayer that got you through. And those that don't, you just do what it is you need to. Your families became closer. Canvas and Zoom were your friends. But usually, cameras off, you don't want to be seen through that lens. Class of 2021, what's been taken, we cannot change. But many of the successes of your future, you can prearrange. Make you stronger indeed, the challenges you have faced. Fear and uncertainty had to be erased. You persevered, and today, you've earned your diploma. So go on now and celebrate this accomplishment. Savor that aroma. Class of 2021, let your lights shine. Your successes are already in the stars, and they're perfectly aligned. Believe, reach for those stars, and get all that is due. Your futures are very bright, but now it's up to you Best wishes and congratulations to the class of 2021. Welcome, class of 2021. Let me take this time to thank your parents, 
teachers, support staff, and the community for helping you all get to this point. This year, more than ever, it took a village to raise our children together. Students, I'm sure you never expected to spend your senior year in a whirlwind of change. As a freshman, you might have dreamed of being the captain of the football team, your senior year, or playing the best prom proposal ever. Instead, you were faced with times of sadness, uncertainty, due to the effects of the global pandemic. Your idea of senior year looks a little different. I don't know about you, but I'm just happy to be here to celebrate with you. We overcame the struggles of virtual learning and made it to the finish line. You've made a decision every day to log in and work hard to accomplish your goals. When you look back at your senior year and recognize you have gained strength, determination, and resilience, use this strength to push you through difficult times in the future. Draw on your determination to create solutions for problems and rely on your resilience to pick yourself up when you fall. Nothing in this world is a breeze. You must continue to work hard and continue to push yourself to be better each day. Most importantly, remember to give yourself grace as the roads in life are not always smooth and you may hit bumps. You have come so far to see the light of bright future shining ahead. Consider these essential tips to add to your toolbox. When you turn 18, register to vote and practice your civic right to vote in all local, state, and federal elections. Always invest in yourself. Give back to your community because when you win, we all win. And most importantly, shine in your greatness and be confident in everything you do. Congratulations, class of 2021. You made it. Good afternoon. It is fitting that we begin our graduation ceremony of 2021 with a tribute to our great nation. Please stand quietly for the presentation of colors and remain standing until the Heritage High School NJ ROTC color guard has left the field.
Thank you. You may be seated. We will now have our welcome video from our superintendent, Dr. George Parker. Congratulations to the class of 2021. It is an honor to share this special occasion with you as we celebrate your educational accomplishments. For over a year, we have all been through a challenging time, navigating the unknown effects and restrictions of a global pandemic. Through distance learning at home, socially distancing everywhere, and hybrid learning back in school, the class of 2021 has certainly shown us what it means to remain committed to a goal with perseverance, dedication, and hard work. This journey has included rigorous coursework, high expectations, and service to the community. Under the guidance of our great teachers and staff and the dedicated leadership of the school board, our graduates have mastered academic requirements, competed in sports and academic competitions, served our community and schools, and developed the skills necessary to be productive citizens. During the course of their high school careers, Newport News Public Schools has continued to expand opportunities to give our students the knowledge and skills they need to graduate, college, career, and citizen ready. And as you graduate from an achievable dream, you have your own special achievements to be proud of. The 48 and achievable dream graduates submitted 304 college applications and received 197 acceptance letters to institutions of higher learning. Dreamers completed 126 honors courses and 42 advanced placement courses. 42% of the class will graduate with a 3.0 or higher grade point average. And 96% of the class of 2021 is graduating with an advanced studies diploma. Today's celebration means many different things for each of us. For you, the students, a graduation is the conclusion of a chapter in your lives that began years ago in kindergarten. You are now looking with eyes wide open at the adult world will soon be joining us. For parents, grandparents, friends, and other relatives, graduation is a time of joy and satisfaction in knowing that your loved one has reached a significant milestone in their young lives. Families, I thank you for your confidence in our schools and for supporting our young people. It has truly been a successful partnership. To our faculty and staff, I thank you for the support and guidance that you've provided over the years, especially the professionalism and dedication you've displayed in helping students return to learn this year. Your daily work will be reflected in all of the future accomplishments of these graduates. We're extremely proud that Newport News Public Schools has opened the doors to thousands of students. Now we encourage the class of 2021 to move forward and step into the future. Thank you, best wishes, and enjoy the ceremony. Many dedicated school division officials have provided the support necessary to bring us today's graduation ceremony, including the superintendent and the school board. We are honored to have many of these individuals present today. Please join me in recognizing Chairman Douglas Brown, Vice Chairman Lisa Searles Law, School Board Member Dr. Terry Best, Student Representative Jordan Moody, and from our School Division Leadership Team, Superintendent Dr. George Parker, Chief of Staff Richard Wright. Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Tina Maglamot. Executive Director of Secondary School Leadership, Dr. Felicia Barnett. And from Achievable Dream Incorporated, Dr. Lee Vreeland, President and CEO. From the City of Newport News, we also have Police Chief Steve Drew. We truly appreciate your support. At this time, I'm going to bring to the stage our class president, Ty Kinney.
Good afternoon, parents, teachers, family, friends, and to the class of 2021. I have been given the privilege of introducing this year's salutatorian, Crystal Langhorn, and also this year's valedictorian, Tasia Butler. Getting to know Crystal over the years has truly been a pleasure. I believe anyone who has gotten to know Crystal quickly realizes how smart, caring, and humble she is. Crystal earned the privilege of speaking today because she worked diligently to become this year's class salutatorian. As I stated earlier, Crystal can be best described as humble. Given all of her accomplishments to date, one might think the opposite would be true. Instead, Crystal continuously focuses on striving to improve and help others. Crystal is confident, curious, determined, driven, and kind-hearted. Christopher Newport University is the lucky institution to inherit Crystal. Now please help me welcome to the stage our 2021 salutatorian, Crystal Langhorn. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my parents, peers, administrators, and educators for coming along this journey with me. Without your love, support, and accountability, I don't think I would have made it this far. Ever since the sixth grade, it has been my dream to be in the top of my class and prove to myself that I was capable of greatness. Here I stand, here we stand, as overcomers, achievers, and believers. This victory is truly shared amongst us all. Here comes the cheesy part where I reflect over the last four years and all of our incredible memories, saying that we're a family no matter how dysfunctional at times. However, all jokes aside, I enjoyed the time I had with all of you, and I'm incredibly proud of all that we've managed to achieve. I just want to take a moment to remind you that we're just getting past the first checkpoint. There is still an amazing race ahead to the finish line, so don't abandon your good habits and skills. I know going forward, the fear of failure is gaining speed in our rearview mirrors, but I want to remind you how far we've come. Take a moment to look around and take it all in. If we can make it through a pandemic and Decker's class, we can make it through whatever the future has to hold. <laughs> Don't forget that we are the class that helped the school get accreditation in the eighth grade. We were born for greatness, and there isn't a thing that we can't achieve. Everyone in this room has the capability to accomplish the very thing their heart desires. My only request is that you don't give up. Don't get weary in your well-doing. That applies to education, work, and life in general. Stay true to what you were taught, treat people with kindness, and do the right thing always. Trust me, I know there will be times of doubt or even frustration along the way, but with the support of each other, we can make it through the storm. That being said, we won't all be going down the same path. There are many different roads to success, so whatever you choose to do with the next years of your life, I encourage you to do it with excellence. I know we've heard this a thousand times, and there is validity to this statement. Your friends will not always be there to push you or to help you. So again, make sure we're continuing to exhibit those skills of an effective leader, being punctual, holding ourselves accountable, and working diligently and purposefully always. Remember, it's okay to be independent in things. Don't always rely on the help of others. There will be times where it's imperative that we know how to work through things by ourselves. In closing, I want to take a moment to acknowledge an exceptional member of Achievable Dream Middle and High School's class of 2021, Destiny Rihanna Moore. She was the epitome of my message. We all knew her as a hard worker and someone who persevered in spite of all that life threw at her. She was also able to balance both. Destiny had fun, but she also gave her grades up. She managed to work from home and complete essentially virtual learning with ease. She was inducted into the 3.0 club while going through personal struggles that had one of us face, we surely would have given up. Not only was she an achiever, she was an overachiever. She understood the assignment. She was a dreamer and an achiever. I say that to say, there is no excuse that any of us can offer to justify amounting to anything less than greatness. Let her be your inspiration. Destiny was a dreamer. We are dreamers, so continue to dream. Continue to dream, but put action behind it. The only thing that comes to a dreamer without work is sleep. Faith without works is dead. I know I've hammered this point home, but I need to make sure we all, if nothing else, take away this point. Nothing you dream about or want can be achieved without hard work, dedication, and grit. 
And as Mr. Lister says, you can't have billion dollar dreams with a 10 cent work ethic. That being said, go out and be great. Here's to us and our successes. I believe we all knew from our earliest days at an achievable dream that Tasia Butler is a remarkable young woman. Tasia sits among her talented and accomplished peers today as the top scholar in her class. And when she crosses the stage in a few moments, she will do sun upon having earned a cumulative GPA of a 4.25. I'll be honest, when I was writing this introduction, I spent over a half hour trying to come up with the appropriate words to introduce the issue of the valedictorian. I'm sorry, but I've run out of words. You've done well. <laughs> of course, it's only logical that our valedictorian has earned a staggeringly high grade point average and that she has inspired her classmates each year across the diverse spectrum of academic disciplines that have challenged her to grow and learn. Tasia, I am glad to have the opportunity to share with everyone gathered here today a synopsis of your quantifiable achievements, for they are noteworthy and deserve our recognition. And friends, there is little doubt, too, that Tasia will go on to attract more recognition and accolades in the years ahead. But at the end of the day, the grades and the awards have nearly nothing with how I will remember Tasia or with the impact she has had on our school in such a stressful time and place that we are in, the Dream family is so proud and thankful to be sending a person into the world who stands to share her voice and intelligence with others. As she leaves the halls of our school to pursue a degree in business from Christopher Newport University, please join me in welcoming Tasia Butler to the stage for the 2021 Valedictorian Address. Good afternoon, faculty, staff, parents, and students. I am humbled to be an Achievable Dreams 2021 valedictorian. It's an honor to be here and a pleasure to address you all on this momentous day. An Achievable Dream is a small school where we all started attending as children, but now we are leaving high school as adults. The last half of our high school years may not have turned out the way many of us thought they would, but we got through it and we did it together. We are on the tail end of the pandemic. I think about how our worlds began to change during the last half of our junior year. We had to shift, adapt, and keep moving. The shift was hard for some of us, but we made it to this day because we never waver in a face of a challenge. We weren't sure if we would have a physical graduation this year, and if we did, we were unsure what this ceremony would look like. I think about the graduating class of 2020 and what the final months of their senior year looked like compared to ours. They left school a few months before graduation. It did not have a prom or senior celebratory events. Their graduation was limited to a carload of well-wishers. We, however, were given the option to return to school to finish out our senior year in the classroom. We have some of our families and friends here cheering us on today in the stands. We have to be thankful for it. To our teachers and ta staff, you also had to move and adjust during this pandemic. Virtual learning is not for every student, nor is it for every teacher. I'm sure that it was just as hard for you all as it was for us. Keeping the class in order, coming up with different creative ways to keep us engaged and interested in the task at hand was challenging, but you did it. All of the knowledge instilled in us by you all surely proves to be immensely valuable to us in our future endeavors. Thank you. To our parents and guardians, thank you. Some of you went from only seeing us a few hours in the evening after school to having us home with you all day long. That meant extra meals, <laughs> disturbances while you worked from home, running out of snacks and having to go to the grocery store more often. That the sacrifices you made for us started many years ago, and the last year and a half probably stretched you to your limit. But you all pressed on and gave us what we all needed. We recognize you today as well. Thank you, parent, parents and guardians. Last but not least, to the Achievable Dream class of 2021. Thank you for hanging in there when your lives felt like they were turned upside down. 
Thank you for checking in on your peers and for the group chats that kept us laughing. We are graduating today and we will be moving on. A few of the many emotions that we may be feeling are excitement, relief, nervousness, anxiety, happiness, and maybe even a feeling of being overwhelmed. All of these emotions are expected on a day like today and they are all welcome. This is a major step in all of our lives, one we have worked hard to achieve. Not having a normal senior year, we've learned much about grace, motivation, and grit. The class of 2021 will not be remembered as the class that missed out during their senior year, but the class that came together and exceeded all expectations. From now on, we are faced with adult choices. Some we make with the help and guidance of others, and some we make on our own. We can choose what we want our future to look like and the path that we want to take to get there, whether it is going to college, going to the military, or going straight into the workforce. No matter where we go or what we choose to do, we must try to excel and strive for excellence in every task, big or small. So congratulations to all of us, the class of 2021. Good luck to all and may everyone find happiness in whatever our future holds. Thank you. We now have a special presentation by the senior class. We would like to take this time to recognize and thank our senior class sponsor, PB Mayors and Mr. Allen S. Witt. It is with your generosity that we are able to leave here knowing that we have the means and the resources to achieve our dreams. On behalf of the entire class of 2021, we give you our deepest appreciation for your gift of education to all of us. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts and we look forward to beginning a new chapter of our lives. As the class of 2021, we will forever be known as the Allen S. Witt Scholars. Thank you again. Thank you so much. I am Courtney Monpoint, and I am truly honored to stand before you today as the principal of an Achievable Dreams High School. We gather today to honor you, 48 seniors who comprise the graduating class of 2021. This afternoon, a celebration belongs to every member of the class of 2021, to your parents, guardians, and grandparents, and to our outstanding faculty and staff. You have experienced many ups and downs of the class, but you have persevered and reached a milestone that you have been pursuing since kindergarten. You continue to press forward through a pandemic. You have continued the rich tradition of excellence, and thankfully, you embrace me as your new principal, even virtually, as if I've been on this journey with you the entire time. This year's seniors class has distinguished themselves through scholarship, student activities, athletics, leadership, and community service. I would like to take a few minutes to share some of the accolades with you. The class of 2021 has been offered a total of $2,046,918 in scholarship funds. Five students have enlisted into the U.S. Armed Forces to include Air Force, National Guard, and Navy. 42% of the class of 2021 will graduate with a 3.0 or higher grade point average. 6% of the 2000, I'm sorry, two, of the class of 2021 will graduate with a 4.0 or higher grade point average. 
96% of the class of 2021 will graduate with an advanced studies diploma. The class of 2021 completed 126 honors courses, 42 advanced placement courses, and 12 dual enrollment courses. 12 of our seniors are community captains with Christopher Newport University, and one of our students also participated in the early college program. Based on your list of accomplishments, it's apparent that the class of 2021 is a class of students who are willing to step up to the challenges that they face and conquer them gracefully and successfully. You have a mindset that there's nothing you cannot do. Before we move on to the moment you've all been waiting for, there are three final points that I want you to remember. First, remember to face your future challenges with the same determination you had to get here today and utilize the critical thinking and problem solving skills that you developed while a student at an achievable dream. Second, don't forget the importance of taking the initiative, collaborating with those around you, and being involved in the community in which you live. Third, always push forward to reach your goals and dreams. Always have a plan and never give up. When you don't think that you can do it, remember this day. Remember how you felt today when you're trying to finish that degree, open that salon, create that business plan, or create that clothing line. Lastly, remember that you do make a difference. Continuously work to have a positive impact on your community. You are a dreamer for life, and dreamers represent greatness. Dreamers, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Congratulations to you. We will now begin the presentation of the diplomas to our graduates. But before we do that, I would like to remind the audience how important it is for each family member to hear the name of their graduate. I know that there are family members who are streaming this commencement from outside the stadium. We ask you to applaud the graduates with respect and to refrain from shouting or whistling as the graduates are recognized. We also ask our family members that you can remain in the stands while the names are called and not come down the stairs to take pictures. Our first row of graduates will proceed to the stage to receive their diploma as a visible symbol of their graduation from an achievable dream high school. It's time. Anthony Linwood Augustus, Jr. Kimani Mayana Bennett. Kaya Michelle Boggs. Sh Shania Desiree Booth. Layla Imaya Bowens. <laughs> De Avion Wright Walker Brooks. Sincere Divine Bullen. <laughs> Tay 
Asia Lachey Butler. Luther Tremaine Collins, Jr. Zanique Kelly Cook. Amini Joy Diggs. <laughs> Nassim Zaire Dixon. DeAndre Keyshawn Jazelle Fields. Talisha Lanise Fields. Christopher Flores. <laughs> Talisa Chardonnay, France. Eddie Tyrese Grady. <laughs> Breon Jamar Grace. Lena Francis Hardy. Keyshawn Hanif Hatch. Brianna Renee Haywood. <laughs> Zanasia Amari Henderson. Tajanae Azure Holmes. Anaya Jean Hunter. Caleb Pierre. Jarman. Congratulations. 
Ariana Raquel Jones. Ty Alexander Kenny. Crystal Elizabeth Langhorn. <laughs> Brianna Amor Lewis. Xavion Tomas McLaughlin. Kai Armino McMillan. Zariah Elizabeth Mitchell. Abriel Isaiah Mormon. Trinity Lula. Kurtiana Newell. Richard Edward Nolf. Sh Shalia Luvinia Renee Perkins. Selena Marielle Reed. <laughs> Torin Xavier Saunders. Laron Marquan Skinner. Alfonso Ira Solomon the Third. Cameron Elise. Taylor. Ricky Lorenzo Taylor. Trey Amon Terry. Parish Najay Thompson. Taryn Claristine Twine. Tajayla. Serenity Weston. Congratulations. 
Tyreek, Ramon, White Stag. Jada Alexis Wilson. The class of 2021 will now stand. <laughs> by the authority vested in me as your principal, by the Commonwealth of Virginia, and by the school board of Newport News, I declare that each of you has successfully completed the course of study required for a high school diploma and are thus graduates of an achievable dream high school. As a symbol of this important You guys are ready to turn that tassel. As a symbol of this important transition, you may now turn your tassels from right to left. You may be seated for just a couple seconds. Congratulations to our graduates, graduates of 2021. As your futures unfold, I challenge you to use your experiences as an achievable dream to build a world that celebrates achievement, effort, and diversity. I ask that the audience members please remain seated for the recessional and that the graduates please rise. To our family members, thank you so much, and I ask that you remain in the stands until the conclusion of our recessional. Thank you so much for attending our commencement ceremony.